We're hearing the 911 calls from that dramatic police standoff in New Berlin yesterday. The call came from inside a pharmacy where a man with a gun was demanding prescription drugs. Yes, there's a man in the store with a shotgun. The man in the store with a shotgun? Yes. Okay, just stand on. What does he look like? Um, he's got really greasy hair. Um, I'm really not sure I ran out of the store. Hmm. Michelle Fiore has more. With more than 50 years in business, New Berlin Pharmacy didn't take today off, despite what happened here less than 24 hours ago. A man demanding oxycodone refused to leave after the pharmacist denied filling his prescription. When he walked out the first time, did he seem agitated when he left? Or what was yeah. The yes, he was very upset. Okay. And that's when he went out to his car, grabbed a shotgun, and came back in? Well, he hung around in the car for a while, and I was kind of watching him. Those who saw the gunman say he looked like he was under the influence. With the pharmacy open today, employees are seeing something else, just how much their customers care. But I'm glad everybody's okay and nobody got hurt. People have been stopping by and calling New Berlin Pharmacy. One customer even dropped off a little cake. Um, I'm just glad that everybody is safe and, you know, you just never know when something's going to happen. Bob Stibes, the pharmacist who was able to talk the suspect into putting down his gun. Yeah, it is pretty steady today. So either it's people, you know, that couldn't get in because we had, you know, blocked off and couldn't get in here and other people just wanted to see what happened and if everybody's okay. So, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, Bob, the pharmacist is pretty much a hero in that case. By the way, the suspect, 43 years old, police have not released his name yet. He is at Waukesha Memorial Hospital and has not yet been charged. The